Freddy Rojas, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So today, I want to introduce you guys a really, really talented welterweight prospect. This man, he's 4-0 with four knockouts. Freddy Rojas Jr. He was number one in the nation as an amateur. Very talented amateur. He won over 17 national titles. He won a bronze medal at the World Championships. And he was actually the first American to win a medal in over 10 years. This is his four fight you guys are watching right here. He's Cuban and Mexican. In fact, his father is a Cuban fighter who actually was on the Cuban national team. He also fought as a pro. And he has a brother, a younger brother, that is just as talented, Emmanuel Rojas. You guys are gonna be seeing and hearing a lot about him as well. Now, I know these brothers and the whole family very, very Beat well. Too, uh, we trained with them for years and years and years. And it's just so cool to see these guys grow up and turn professional, watching them almost from day one. We all trained out of Las Vegas. And I could tell you right now, for those of you guys who don't know, Las Vegas is a serious hotbed right now. It's a powerhouse right now for all of the best talent. There's a lot of talent coming out of Las Vegas from the amateurs to the pros, but specifically when it comes to the amateurs. I mean, a lot of these kids in Las Vegas are winning national titles back to back to back. But going back to Freddie Rojas, what I really like about Freddie Rojas so far since I've been watching his professional fights is he made the transition very smoothly because there's a lot of fighters. I've seen so many fighters in the amateurs where maybe they were extremely dominant as an amateur or maybe they just look real good when they spar. But when they turn pro, a lot of them could not adjust and they could not duplicate the success that they had as an amateur. I don't think that's gonna be the case with Freddie Rojas or the Rojas brothers. Because once again, looking at how comfortable he is as a pro already, that tells me this kid, he's gonna go far. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this fight. And we'll be talking a lot more about Freddie Rojas Jr. down the line. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.
work, Freddy. Let's go, Freddy. Alright now check this out guys, if you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today, go to elodekey.com, like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Hello my name is Dominic, um, I just got my procedure done here at South Carolina's. Um, I was recommended by Dante's Boxing Nation, and uh, it's real, you know. Here's the, uh, here's the results. Uh, the brother out here, Brother Enoch, is real, and um, it's a very, very, very good recommendation. I recommend it. Uh, four hours, you in, you out, and it's the rest of your life. So if anyone in the world wants this hookup, make sure you contact my man, Anak, at 704-499-3471, and make sure to follow him on Instagram.